So you will see the side load legs down transfer all over the place. This one, not so much. The last one is a very, very useful transfer. It's called head-on. <coughs> it's a very useful transfer for people who are very weak, who really can't do a good push-up, <coughs> who are fearful um, <coughs> of loss of balance. <coughs> okay, so let's switch out to Josh and you can come over here and be patient. Real right up. <laughs> okay, so with this, it's called head on <coughs> because you face where you're going to head on. 90 degrees. Okay, so Josh, what you're going to do eventually is you're going to go from the wheelchair onto the mat too. Okay? Um, so, what, so he went up the right way, okay, his wheel locks are locked, okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to um, move forward in the chair a little bit, a little push up, <coughs> now take one leg, lift it up close to you, okay, and see if you can lift it up a little bit more, and see if you can get under your calf muscle and put your leg out straight. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other leg. I'm going to bring it up. And straight. Now, if he is going onto a surface where <clears throat> the rigging of the foot pedal uh, of the, uh, can go under, all he does is lift, all he does is unlock his chair and roll forward. If it that won't fit under, you have to swing away the foot pedal. Okay, so let's say lean down, <coughs> swing away one foot pedal, and now the other. Now throughout <coughs> this transfer, he's supported on four sides. The two arm rest, the back, and the front. Okay, now what you're gonna do, unlock the chair, and unlock. Okay, and you're going to slide, you're going to move the chair up close, 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 close. Okay, and now lock it again. Okay, now again, if um, his legs may have bent as he went through, that was fine. <coughs> um, but what we're going to do now is a series of push ups straight onto the bed. Okay, so. Here he can do a series of small push-ups. So put your hands on the armrest of the chair, and then do a series of small push-ups up and forward. Okay, now wait, wait, wait. Now as he gets to the, the interface between the chair and the bed, then I want you to start moving your legs with your hands this way. The other one, a little bit more. Okay. And on the next push up, one hand on there and one hand on the chair, and up and over. Okay? So this is head on. It takes many small steps. Okay? But it's very safe and it's a very good beginning transfer for people who have poor balance, who are fearful, who are weak. Okay, so this is not the go-to transfer for your 18-year-old motorcycle accident person. Okay, but for your 70-year-old <coughs> um, paraplegic due to spinal cord tumor, this might be just fine. Okay, and then coming back, you just do a series <coughs> of push-ups, and again, you move your legs. He's got good instincts, and again from here. You can ask him to bend his legs or let them even come out to the side, you know, like a tailor sit position. Put your arms here. Okay, go up and back. Up and back. And then um, unlock the chair. Go back. Now you pull back until your heels are not quite off the bed. Lock it up. Swing back up and then. Okay. 
So <clears throat> there isn't a lot of guarding with this. You may actually lean over and help somebody to do the um, help somebody to do the push up. But for the most part, the most dangerous part of this is if he's pushing up and back, and you saw what happened is uh, the chair almost tilted. So I usually will have one hand on the chair or on the armrest to stop that from happening. Those are the three most common transfers. Okay. So 